God cannot share his holiness. So, God must be regarded as holy by those who come near him. And before all the other people, he must be glorified. So, God chose his own metaphor. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire. When I say the Lord your God is a consuming fire, it's a same way of saying he is a jealousy God. He's a jealousy God. So, God is fire. God is fire. Let's see how God is fire so that I can help you. It might help you to understand uh, how closely God relates himself with fire. Number one, for one thing, God appeared to Moses out of a burning bush. Exodus 3, 2. Later, when the people of Israel left Egypt, they were led by a pillar of fire in the night. That was God all by himself. When the first tabernacle offering was made, God consumed it by fire. We saw that yesterday when we were talking about Abraham's dream. In Genesis chapter number 15, God is fire. When Solomon dedicated the first temple, God also sent fire from heaven. It hit the offering just before the presence of God filled the temple. On the day of Pentecost, after a sound like a mighty wind, tongues of fire came to rest on the followers of Jesus Christ, who had gathered in one accord. They, they were then filled with the Holy Spirit. But the fire of God shows up first. So God took the fire very seriously. Why? Because it was a representative of him. So how dare you come in the temple and you play with me? So this is what they did. They lit their censers with the fire that was not the one that was supposed to be used for that purpose. They were supposed to light the censers with the fire that burns in the temple. This message is also speaking to the people who love shortcuts. Shortcuts are long cuts. Type that on the comment section. Shortcuts are long cuts. So it wasn't something he could allow for those who came to him. And he made sure that all the people knew that because God's respect and glory was paramount. He was not going to allow these boys, ignorant boys, to set another precedence that it was going to affect the generations to come. So why did they do what they did? The Bible doesn't give their motive. It was just ignorant. The sin of ignorant. We have to repent the sin of ignorant. You know it's a day of prayer and fasting, but you just ignore. You know the Joel's bar is going on, but you just ignore. You know the apostles said that this is the season for salt but you just ignore you know we are living in the prophecy of the 60 million strong but you just ignore you know there is a move of god called the gideon 300 but you just ignore the sin of ignorant ignorance has no defense in the court of law so as we do let's consider our own responsibility as those who by the blood of jesus have access to the very presence of god so we see a destruction. Leviticus 6.13. I said Leviticus is important because after you come out, you have to know how to stay out. That's why there are people who are delivered today. Tomorrow you are in the same sin because you are not taught on how to stay out. So immediately after Exodus, we have the Leviticus. There is a difference between being a millionaire and staying a millionaire. Being married and staying married. Being in business and staying in business. It's a big difference.